guys, we're here from Cleveland Moto. We got four guys with us in a camera bike. We're gonna take electric scooters out for a run today. Now these aren't all exactly the same electric scooters. These represent pretty much the electric scooter range of bikes that you can get in the United States right now. There are some notable exceptions. However, we're gonna do the NIU. This uh, NIU that's right here, this is the GT model. Not their fastest bike, but in sort of the middle, but two 35 amp hour batteries. This is the Vespa, 70 kilometers per hour, 45 miles per hour. You can get the Vespa two ways as a 45 and a 30 mile per hour unit. This is the faster of the two. They claim that this has 86 amp hours of battery on board. That remains to be seen. Also 45 miles per hour. This is the GTS. This is their faster bike, or it was their fastest bike up until just recently. This carries 26 amp hours times two. Now this is the fastest Niu they make. This is called the Evo, and the Evo contains 26 times two, but the battery, the motor on the Evo will let this bike go up to an indicated 69 miles per hour. I've tested it. So this is the fastest of the fleet. Now we're gonna see who gets the best balance between range and speed in the test that we're doing today. All right, so we're doing the test of the electric scooters. We've got the Neos and we've got the Vespa, all in different amounts of battery and all in different amounts of power. The Neos will range in power from 26 amp hours times two up to 35 amp hours times two, so 52 to 70 amp hours. The Vespa Electrica claims to be carrying around uh, 86 amp hours of electricity. So that's, a, that's quite a bit more electricity than the others. So we're gonna take a ride, we're gonna use standard commuting rules, nothing outrageous, uh, just to kind of get us out away from the downtown areas and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so here we are. We've discovered the first thing is that in dynamic mode on the NIU, you're gonna be restricted to 29 indicated miles per hour, 29 indicated miles per hour. And you know, life moves along at a little faster than that, but we're just gonna give these guys a taste of what 29 dynamic miles per hour feels like and see if everyone agrees that it's time to kick them into sport mode. Now the Vespa has only two modes. It has, well, actually technically three, it has, eco it has sport and it has reverse so when uh we put took the vespa and set the vespa up we set the vespa up in uh dynamic mode for default so we're literally giving this baby all she can we're giving her all she's got captain Alright, so now we got the guys in sport mode and we'll see if we can let them have just a little bit of fun here. It might have to a hellacious 44 miles per hour there, but it didn't feel like it was in any hurry. It didn't feel, it certainly didn't feel aggressive. It felt, well, you know, okay. And we're trying to simulate some commuting suburban commuting scenarios. So we did some stop and go. Now we're gonna be doing some open on the road. Uh, and this road that we're going down is 35 miles an hour, but as you can see, nobody goes 35 miles per hour. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make when they're buying an electric or a small displacement scooter. They'll be like, oh, well, you know, I never really go on anything above a 35 mile an hour road. So maybe that 35 mile per hour bike is gonna be fine for me. Well. If you're going 35, around here at least, if you're going 35 and a 35, you're not making any friends at all. You're definitely on the uh, everyone kind of hates you situation. So that's uh, not surprising to anyone that if you're gonna be having a bike that says it goes 35 miles per hour, you're gonna need to have all of it. And so on this one, so this is the uh, GT. This is the longest battery in the bunch. Uh, this is going to have, well, this is going to have two 35 watt amp hour batteries. Now the Vespa claims to have 86, uh, 186 amp hour battery, we'll see. Uh, now this is the GT, not the GTS, so this is not their most powerful engine. This is a, a this is like their third most powerful engine in the new lineup. And uh, in by new, I mean NIU. And so that third most powerful engine. 
This is sort of advertised as being 45 miles per hour. Now the bike that Oscar's riding is the GTS, and the GTS is advertised at over 50 miles per hour. Dan is on the orange bike, that's the Evo, and the Evo's power is, top speed is over 60 miles per hour. So we can see that three different motors represented here in this test and the Vespa. So it's gonna be fun at some point in a little bit when we do our top speed run to figure out of these bikes, which is the absolute fastest. And that's gonna be cool, because I've got, I've got my thoughts about what I think it's gonna be. We'll see who really comes out on top. It is a bit of a pop. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna find that out in the next section session to find out what their actual real top speed is. So mine was going uh, 49 miles per hour and on the D, on the downhill, it got touched 50 for a second, uh -huh. but then immediately pulled off of 50 like it wasn't allowed to. The other thing I noticed is you guys were able to accelerate a whole lot quicker from zero right. to up to speed, whereas I was scooting, I was, 30, 40 yards behind you right. guys trying to... All of these bikes, each it. of these bikes has a hub motor and your bike does not. Your bike has oh. a regular motor with driven through a belt system. Okay. So uh, in in all these bikes, they basically have a pancake or a hub motor in the back of them, whereas this bike still uses a drivetrain to get the power from the battery to the wheel. So that could affect it. Now, according to the marketing specs, the Vespa is as powerful as these are. Allegedly. Allegedly. Huh. We're going to get into we're gonna get do a deep dive into that as well. Um, well I saw 50 at one point. I wasn't watching the speedometer sure. all the time, but right. not, that was what I you know I had well, to slow down because I'm the fastest up. bike right. here. It is, right. but, yeah, you're definitely riding the fastest sporty. bike here. When we leave here, I'm gonna be on the Vespa. Other people are gonna change bikes as they will. And then we're gonna do top speed runs. Now with these speed runs, the rule is this between our house, between here and my house, these are not the terminal speed runs that we're gonna be running. I just want you guys to feel the acceleration of the bike, back off. I don't want you breaking the law. You know, right. if the bike can go 69, I don't expect to be going 69 now. This is about feeling the thrust of the bike. This is about feeling its performance, the dynamic acceleration, the way it handles up and down. So on the one that I was riding, yeah. dynamic top speed was 33. 33, okay. But on sport, I had 52. Correct, and on the one I was riding, dynamic top speed was 29, maybe 30, and sport mode, 49, because I think I was giving her all she's got, Captain. Really? Yeah. Well, I did not hit the limiter for um, dynamic mode, so somebody's gonna have to try to do that. I, <laughs> the bike you're riding is pretty spicy, and you're not, you know, well, that'll be the last time you'll be riding it today. But that bike is the spiciest bike. I mean, I've ridden that, and it's pretty impressive. Uh, its stats and its features are, its speed, speed is really fast. So the bike that I'm riding, or I was riding, is called the NQI GT. What makes it special is instead of having two 26 amp hour batteries, it has two upgraded 35 amp hour Panasonic batteries. Okay. So that costs the consumer like an extra five or 600 bucks, but you give up some of that motor. That's for a consumer that says, 49 miles per hour is fast enough for me, but boy howdy do I want range. Okay, two battery system, a 49, a very unthirsty 49 motor. Can you put those batteries on the yes, you can. On the sport? You can, okay. you can order it that way. And then the one you're riding, which is the GTS, yes. the NQI yeah. GTS, the NQI GTS, that has got two 26 amp hour batteries that are not Panasonic's. And, but that one, as you found out, happier, happier, has a little <laughs> bit more top speed to it, right? And then the one Dan's riding, which is called the Evo, the orange bike, that has two 26 amp hour batteries as well, but that has their spiciest motor by far. I've had that up to an indicated 69 miles per hour. Wow. When we get to my house, we're gonna dive a little bit more into the minutia of what each bike can, well, can claim to do. But as we get to my house, we'll be able to see all bikes having traveled the exact same distance. One commute, one full commute for a person that drives about 13 or 14 miles to work in the morning, we'll then have that data set to say, this is what it costs each of us at one commute. Battery wise. Battery wise, excellent. Cool, all right, take a minute, stretch your legs, and then uh, everybody will be sw uh, swapping bikes at this cool. point. On your mark, get set, go. Oscar's gonna overrun the camera truck. I 
cannot catch Chris Smith on the GT. Now that's the one with the two giant uh, Panasonic batteries. That's the one that's got two times 35, 235 amp hour batteries, so 70 amp hours. Um, I'm pretty well, he got me off the line, I'm pretty well evenly paced with him. But I can't catch him. These, I, I, I'm cheating the air. I'm so, I'm down in a full tuck on this thing. I cannot catch him. That's it. I, that's all I can do. All right, that was uh, pretty amazing. That was pretty intense. I really thought I had Chris that time. I was certain I had him. I couldn't get him. Look, Oscar was right up your tailpipe. Yeah, you you did not launch fast enough. Did you did you did you hold back to not hit him? Oh, no. oh, okay. You were gonna pass. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make a left here. We'll go back to my house, okay? And then we'll do one more drag race after we get to the tracks, okay? I'll line everybody up. Don't pass me until it's go time. That was fun. No bullshit. Nobody gets hurt. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh man, Chris! <laughs> he got me! Oh, he got me again! Oh man! He's just pulling away steady. Oh, just pulling away. Nothing I can do. I got a tailwind and everything. 43 miles per hour, that is uh, that's so far my highest recorded top speed. I can feel the bike pushing back and answer me all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, 43 is all she's gonna give me, that's for sure. I can feel, electronically, I can feel the bike pushing back against me. Yeah, it doesn't want me going 44, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely does not want me going 44. Oh boy, that's... What we can say without a doubt is that the Evo, the orange bike, is fast. Oof. It's quick. Um, in the drag races, it got out in front of us every single time. It may have cheated a couple of times. Yeah, I don't know. I, there was I heard some... go and I, I went. I think he might have been pedaling with his feet a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I had to actually hit the gas to get out of his way. Yeah, our, our, camera, our camera truck was in danger. Uh, the Africa Twin camera truck was in very much danger of being run over in a couple of those shots, a couple of those launches. But it is, that bike is fast. Peppy. That bike is yep. peppy. Yep. Now I'm showing just a hair under half a tank of electricity on my bike right now. So we'll check that before we leave and we go back on our next adventure. But right now, does anybody take a look and see how many miles we've gone so far? I'm gonna say about 13 or 14 miles maybe, give or take, 15 miles. Uh, but that's where we are right now. And this is what I, you know, you guys have now seen my commute to work every single day, right? That's what I do coming in, that's what I do going home. It's that route. So looking at these electric scooters as an, a commuter vehicle, we'll see that, you know, right now, based on half a tank of electrons left, well, I could easily go to and from work yeah. one time without having to plug in again. That's pretty cool. Uh, anybody have any comments about the particular bike they were riding on this leg of the adventure? Yeah, the the riding position, mm -hmm. the floor is too high. The floor is too high. These yeah. are like, <laughs> and you know why? These are. Do you know why the floor is so high on the bike you're riding? Is that where the batteries There's are? There's the extra batteries in there. So your bike has two 26 amp hour batteries. One of them is in the helmet holder under your seat, and the other one is under the floorboards. I gotta believe that there are some people of shorter stature who would love that. Yeah. The way that yeah. seating position is. Oh, yeah. It does make, you know, the bike does sit a little tall because it does have 14 inch wheels. Now the Vespa that I'm riding has 12 inch wheels. All the other bikes have 14s. I like the way 14s feel on the road. They don't beat you up the way a normal 10 or 12 inch wheel does on a scooter. Yeah. Now the bike Dan was riding in his last trip was the NQI GTS. The GTS has the peppier motor, but the 26 amp hour, we'll call the standard sized batteries. 
the bike that Chris was riding on this run was the NQI GT. That's, it has the, that's the one that had the handicapped sticker. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as handicapped as mine, let me tell you that. Orange uh, triangle. <laughs> right. Now that bike has two big 35 amp hour batteries, Panasonic lithium batteries in there. And it has a motor that does not deliver the same speed output as yours does, which we all saw quite clearly in the drag races. Oscar's bike, the Evo from Niu, that uh, it's called the MQI Evo. And it has a slightly different body style than the uh, NQIs. So the M is in Michael. MQI has a little bit of a different body style. And that carries its two batteries, its two 26 amp hour batteries under the seat. Now what makes the MQI Evo different is not only is it the hot rod motor that's in there, but also its charger. It's charging at 60 amps, or um, you'll have to bear with me on that, but it's charging at a much higher charge rate. It charges faster than either the NQI, the GT, or the GTS. So it has a faster charger. Uh, that's something that a customer might be thinking about. Now price point on these is pretty dramatically different. The Vespa is a price point of about $7,700 base price. We're not talking about any freight, we're not talking about any cost or tariffs or assembly or anything, we're just talking about base price. And that's what that one is. The uh, GTS, which is the one Dan was riding most recently, that's the one with two 26 amp hour batteries. That's gonna be about $39.99. That's a dramatic drop in price. You know, we're talking about $3,700 difference for a bike that, um, as you can see with that motor, you were second to just the Evo. The Evo is the only thing faster than you. And then you go to the bike Chris was most recently riding, which was the GT, and that's the, the GT with the big batteries, the 35 amp hour batteries. Now on that bike, you're paying 600 more. So you're getting that for about 4,600, and that's gonna give you these big fat batteries, but a slightly slower motor. So this is an interesting, I think this is a really interesting thing. I'm glad we got a chance to take this break. And then on our next trip, we're gonna be going uh, back that way, and then we're gonna wander around in the Metro Parks for a while and see who dies first. <laughs> somebody's gonna die first, so somebody's gonna be back to the garage sooner than other people. All right, cool. Bike says he's got six miles left of range. I've got nine miles left of range. We are the two that are most likely going to run out of juice first. Um, now, it doesn't seem to bother my bike. I'm able to go 40 miles an hour here, no problem. 43. So I'm able to get all the way up. I'm doing great here. I'm killing it. Uh, 47, 48, 49. Oh, yeah, she's going. She's a goer. Look at that, 50 miles an hour, even though I got a flashing red battery symbol telling me I'm out of juices. Fantastic. All right, so that's cool. So that's pretty interesting that it will still give me that kind of acceleration, even though I'm down to this flashing red battery light and down to 14%. Now I'm curious to see what it's going to do when I get to below 10%. That'll be an interesting thing. I'm going to make it go to under 10% because we're going to go up Hogs Back Lane here. It's going to be steep and uh, thirsty. It'll it'll definitely take some battery from us. So now we got Hogs Back and still accelerating briskly, moderately, 35, 36, 37, 38. But Oscar's not doing that. Oscar's bike isn't giving him that performance. I can't even see him in my mirrors anymore. So we'll slow down a little bit for him. Now I'm down to indicated seven miles, thanks to that little blast I just had. There he is, he's way back there. I'm showing 11% and six miles left. Woo! Woo boy! Well, does it still say sport on the dashboard? Okay, good, good.
right guys, so here we are, victory. No, nope, not even close. So the bike I was on after we changed up and adjusted for rider weights, uh, I really did think that the Vespa Electrica was gonna come in dead last, but it didn't come in All last. Right, so at 14%, the Electrica started to cut back his power dramatically. He was losing speed way back, miles before the rest of our, uh, the rest of us were. We were still able to hold speed. Even in the Metro Parks, I was able to get 40, 43 miles per hour until I hit 10%. Once I dropped below 10%, the hammer had fallen, I couldn't go above 13 miles per hour. Right after I dropped out, Dan dropped out, he couldn't go over 13 miles per hour. So we were both limited to under 15 miles per hour, no matter what we did. But at that point, Oscar was still going 20. So in the slow race, he was the winner. Uh, he wins winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, the hero of the show is definitely the Evo because the Evo is not encumbered in any way. The uh, Evo is still operating in dynamic range. It's still showing over 10% of its charge. So of the bikes we tested, of the four machines we tested today, the first one to go into power save mode was definitely the Electrica. It did go into power save mode the quickest. But once it went into power save mode, the NQI GTS with the 226 amp hour batteries was definitely the most uh, lethargic, let's put it that way. Then came the GTI with the bigger batteries. Now I have to say, that bike only started on 96%. That bike didn't start today at 100%. It was only at 96 when we left here. But the hero is the bike that goes over 60 miles per hour is the Evo. And the Evo outshined us all. So maybe when you have a lot of power but you're not using much of it, you generally have left more left over at the end of the day. Hell of a test. Uh, our total miles was quite a few. We did over 50 miles total. So I think that that was a really good thing. I think all these bikes advertise that they can go over 45 miles. And I think we got that out of all of them. Take a look and see what the Vespa says. I know its odometer is a little generous, but uh, the, the Vespa, I think it was showing us like right at 50 miles on our range. 45. 40, I'm sorry, 45 miles. So 45 miles, which is what they advertise, go figure. Uh, now, yes, the bike can still go. Can it go for 10 more miles? It might, but it's gonna do it at very, oh, it says two more miles? It says it has two more miles, right, two more miles of range. I think I feel like we've done a really good job of proving these bikes out. They all have very similar range, except for the Evo, which has considerably more range to it and is also faster. So there you go. We'll let your budget decide which electric bike you choose. That's been Phil with Oscar, Dan, Chris, and our camera truck, Steve Sleepy Cinch, uh, saying ride fast and take chances. And that's the last time we do an electric shootout, I'll tell you that. <laughs> wow, man. Getting excited about going slow is not my jam. <laughs> I'm with you.